All right, so this has been the FPS test I've been looking forward to doing since the announcement of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. This is a new era of mobile gaming, as with the 15 Pro Max and the A17 Pro, we can finally play AAA PC games on smartphone devices. Anyways, in this video, I will test for about 20 minutes on this iPhone and the PC port Resident Evil Village. As for graphic settings, as you can see, I pretty much decided to go with default settings, but with a few tweaks. I switched the 120 FPS option to 60 FPS. I also switched metal effects from performance mode to quality mode. On another note, you could increase resolution to 1300p and graphics all the way from high to max settings. But again, I decided to go with default, which is basically medium settings. Nevertheless, let's dive into this test and see just how hot this iPhone will get. What's it all this? Where the hell am I?
What happened? Did they just run out of the house? No, no, friendly, friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road. And... What's going on? Oh, no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? more.
Is it over? Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my... to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? All right, so after about 20 minutes of gaming, let's start with peak temperature. And right off the bat, as I'm turning this phone around, it actually feels not too bad. Warm, but not hot. And as we can see, temperature is peaking up to 42 Celsius, which in my opinion is impressive. Especially when taken into consideration that we just gamed for about 20 minutes in this demanding AAA PC game. But anyways, moving forward to FPS averages, again, I'm quite impressed because here we can see I average 46.9 frames per second after about 20 minutes of gaming. This is a big improvement from the beta because what I've seen in the past, medium settings and beta testing usually averaged about 30 FPS. Hence, we are seeing a huge improvement. Even if we look at the 1% lows, we can basically see that the FPS does not drop any lower than 30, no matter how intense the game may get. All in all, this brings excitement for what's in store for the future of mobile gaming. This iPhone 15 Pro Max even outperformed my Steam Deck and RLG Ally at 15 watts. I'm typically getting around 40 FPS average with my PC gaming handhelds at medium settings but the iPhone 15 Pro Max was able to average an amazing 46.9 frames per second at medium settings. Nevertheless, stay tuned for more FPS tests like this, as I do also plan to test my M2 iPad Pro. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.